Uh, define those travels as you can, as the song says. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, Goglings, Gogorifics, Gog Peoples. Welcome to episode 157 of Pen and Pixels. Uh, I am your host, Arvind Elrond. This is the show that we do every Tuesday here um, from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern on GOG Comm's Twitch channel, where we focus on story and narrative in games, and specifically uh, focusing on story and narrative in games here on Thronebreaker, which I am excited to continue playing. Um, I've been enjoying this game a lot, and it was actually one of my games of the year. I think I put it like three or four or something like that in my personal games of the year. So it's good, and I hope uh, that you have been enjoying it as much as I have been enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it today. Before we move on to that, though, I do want to remind everybody about ways to support the stream. If you have not done so already, please make Make sure to follow the channel. That is a very important thing. Please make sure to check out um, the uh, subscribe button because subscribing to this channel is a good thing. You can get awesome emotes for you, awesome things to support the channel as well when you do that. So that would be much appreciated. And last but certainly not least, please make sure to check, uh, basically click through and check our individual channels because we all have Patreons and subsystems and all that kind of good stuff there. So any kind of support um, that you would be able to give us would be much appreciated um, by uh, subbing to us on our individual channels as well, if you are so inclined. Um, we are continuing Thronebreaker today. As I said, I'll be with you until about 7 p.m. Eastern, and then I'll be giving way to Blackheart, who will be continuing with Rogue Legacy. So that's what's happening today. D&D uh, &D with GOG, by the way, in case people are curious, Storm King's Thunder will continue next Tuesday. So next Tuesday, we'll be right back here at 4 p.m. Eastern with the full crew. Screaming Joypad and everyone else will be there, so I'm very excited about that. I am looking forward to that. That'll be next week, but this week we've got more Thronebreaker. Um, and let me turn on that. There we go. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all. Hope everyone's doing well. And um, I want to mention today that we've got a special little addition to this because every time we do something awesome in Thronebreaker, I am going to be partaking of one of these delicious M&Ms. Now, these M&Ms are actually from the Hershey's factory here in New York, and they were specially stamped by my daughter. Um, they have such timely messages as you won't be able to see that probably. Merry Christmas, it says on the back of this. Um, or, for example, things like um, piano keys. Got to have piano keys. Um we have, uh, let's see, that's more piano keys. We have loving and caring. Loving and caring, so we've got that. Um, and we have one other, yes, hope and peace. So we've got all of these, and uh, so I will uh, make sure to partake. And I hope you can, you know, at home, imagine that you're eating an M&M &M, um, while I am eating one of these things, because I'm sure that will that will definitely help. Uh, but for right now, we have got uh, the power of uh, GOG and the power of Thronebreaker, which compels you. And so with no further ado, let us... Where are we here? Uh, there we are. Let's get to it. I had to find the right button on my stream deck. Alrighty. How is everyone today? Everyone seems kind of mellow. I believe the last person who streamed here was, um, uh, I believe, was Mr. Kilgore Trout. So, it's been a while. How's everyone doing? Lower that, increase that. There we go. Good. Lovely. Ah. Okay. Oh, nice cat pig. <clears throat> oh, ahead of me. You are ahead of me, but I will try to make some uh, advancement here today. Having a great time with this game. Okay. Uh, all right, where were we? I want to see what it was that I was planning on making. I wanted to make something more. So I wanted to make um, the armory. But I also wanted these things, which probably is going to be smarter. There's one of these that I really like the idea of. Blacksmith. Let's see, the Forager. Yeah, so 1,500, 2,500. Actually, I almost have enough for that. 
or 4,000. Those are pretty good too, though. Mm. All right, maybe I'll aim for that one. 4,000 gold. I missed the affiliate links earlier. What's up, Takanji? How you doing? What do you mean I missed the affiliate links? What do you mean, Capig? To what do you refer, sir? Okay. And I was doing something here. Oh, I remember what. I was looking for maps, right? Yeah, the survivor's map. Still have not found that one yet. Can you listed the ways to support the stream. Oh, well, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, um, I can't, I don't know if I can talk about why I haven't been talking about that yet, he said mysteriously. Um, but yeah, there's a reason I didn't bring that up. <laughs> I'll just say it for now. Meave's Lyrians were traversing a wood when they heard the loud, drawn-out blast of a horn. One of our scouts? The queen asked, clearly perplexed. She turned in her saddle to face Reynard, who shook his head. Strange. Yep. Gascon. Appoint a few of your strays, ones who know how to blend in. Have them sniff out who blows that horn, and why. The scouts returned a short while later with their report. Soldiers had pitched camp in a nearby meadow. They wore Adernian uniforms, cut by sashes bearing Not a everyone, but sun. most of us. They addressed their leader as Fulberson. Know the name, Rayla said. Fulberson went over to the enemy first day of the war, took his whole division with him. Your grace, a chance like this won't come again. Let's teach the traitors a lesson. Interesting. Okay. Attack we must send traitor. a strong signal. One all the north will hear. From the Yoruga to the Dragon Mountains. Announced the queen. Whoever collaborates with the invader shall pay with his head. Prepare to attack. Rayla nodded, clearly pleased. The Lyrians surrounded the meadow marked by their scouts. Moments later, a flaming arrow pierced the sky, giving the signal to attack. Kablow! Fulbison was not the sole traitor in the north. Many of the land's wealthiest allied with the Empire, bribed by the promise of riches and privilege, and sometimes under duress. They had struggled to discern whether the kings themselves were striking deals with the invaders. Hence said of Cadwin, Faltest of Temeria, and it did appear, after all, that the longer the war dragged on, the less resistance Nilfgaard seemed to encounter. Edernian traitors. Reduce the retreat timer to zero. Okay, I don't entirely know what that means. Yeah, I mean... The rules for payout were pretty... rigorous, let's just say. I won't say any more than that. Okay. So probably have a lot of exact, a lot of exact damage. The animations on these are just so good. Um, okay, I want a lot of direct damage items. No. No. Is that we need? Two arms! Reduce this artifact's timer by one for every unit played from the opponent's hand. When the timer reaches zero, Count Falbison escapes. Oh, so I need to play units? Is that the idea? You mad? Don't shake that! Yeah, it is. Okay, I didn't realize that. So I actually did want more units on the field. Welp. Hundred and one, hundred and two, hundred and three. Ah, so we can kill that guy cause issues for him, all right? Um, let's put this... Hey. He's dead. Goes down to six, good. 
and then ha! dead. Excellent. I want those allies dead. 152. Oh my God, the Kanjia. This man has suffered. Well, much. it's what you deserve. You no one to blame but yourself, my friend. <laughs> Um, eight times. Uh, okay. And I have to destroy one of mine. Knickers! Rubbing duty again? Oh, gods. Very simple. Oh my gosh, Arzap. Yeah. I know I have some um, some friends of mine. Uh, I have some friends of mine who are from Maine who deal with that. And there's a chat person as well who's one of my regular viewers who is into is a uh, Maine person. And yeah, they deal with that all the time. Okay, um, let me think. Choice. All right, that's easy. Mercy, your grace. We surrender. No problem. That was not a difficult one. The traitors, perhaps yeah, used to fighting epic. unsuspecting foes, stood no chance against the determined Lyrian attack. That deserves an M and M. At its conclusion, Meave personally knocked Fulberson off his mount, then tore off his visor. The face she saw evoked more sympathy than hatred. Fulberson was an old, sickly man, his skin pale and blemished. With great difficulty, he pulled himself up on his knees, then extended a shaky hand in pleading. Your Grace, have mercy. The Nilfgaardians forced me to treason. They threatened torture. Me felt her soldiers' eyes on her. They awaited her decision. How would she treat this traitor? Would she really execute him as a warning to others? Mm. I'm going to show mercy and it's going to hurt my morale, but whatever. I hereby dissolve your division, Falberson. And you, surrender your sword and be on your way. The traitor threw himself at the Queen's feet. You've shown mercy befitting a truly great ruler, your grace. A thousand thanks. To the west of here lie my lands. Visit me. I shall throw a sumptuous feast in your honor and provide a generous donation to your fight against our common foe. Meave ordered Fulberson to stand. Her Lyrians reluctantly See? stepped out of the departing traitor's way. Ah, uh, the morale. When he passed Black Rayla, she spat at his feet. Yeah, I figured that that wasn't going to go over well with the troops, but, you know, the truth is, they're bloodthirsty, and sometimes I'm like, you know, I can't... Sorry, Brosif, but I can't be, uh, I can't just be killing everybody that causes problems. Especially if he can provide some, some financial benefits later on. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard because obviously a traitor is a traitor, you know, but... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm generally going to be a merciful ruler. That's generally my... It's generally my bag. There we go.
Oh, we have more. So we have this, and then we've got that stuff up there. Okay. This probably is a fight we're looking at. What's up? Meave and her Lyrians arrived at Fulberson's lands, home of the traitor she had let live. He greeted the queen with full honors. In ceremonial garb, a platter of bread and salt held aloft. Your grace, tis an honor to welcome you to my humble abode. Please, come inside. A fattened piglet already turns on the spit. Soon, I shall fetch my best wines from the cellar. This guy is sketchy, though. This guy is sketchy. There's something my spidey sense is going off here. Meave, having lived on nothing but salt pork and gruel for weeks, was tempted to accept the offer. Black Rayler, however, was strongly against it. Mom, forgive my insolence, but to eat from a traitor's table is foolish. Don't do it. This is gonna, I'm gonna regret this. Meave ignored Rayla's warning, and for her part, Rayla refused to partake of the feast. The queen attended in the company of only her closest advisers. The table groaned under all the refined delicacies laid out upon it, and rivers of wine were served. Fulberson delivered a flattering toast in Meave's honor. You could search all the world and not find such a ruler, one so brave so merciful and so dead and so naive yeah with these last words heavily armed nelf guardian soldiers poured out of the adjoining rooms meave leapt away from the table barely dodging the bolts and flying towards her she drew her sword god damn it all right i knew it i knew it son of a an attempt on the Queen. Now, if Guardian Assassins, this is like Red Wedding style, are often considered the best in the world. This comes as the Gnose great surprise, for they clearly have plenty of practice. These professional murderers strike not only at the Empire's enemies in the North, but also those more domestic, to solve eternal disputes. Why mysterious disappearances and improbable accidents are as commonplace in Emir's court as unplanned pregnancies and masquerade balls. Eliminate Falbison, do not let any allies die. Eliminate Falbison with pleasure. The king leads us to not so mighty now, are you, me? You pay for this! <laughs> Falverson, slayer of the great Meeb. <laughs> Sounds rather good, doesn't it? Meeb, catch! I have no intention of dying today. You fight in vain. This is where you die. Um... Oh, these, see, this is cool. This is like a different thing. Damage an enemy by three. Flip over the banquet table. What banquet table? Okay. So we're gonna do this. Her Majesty is exceptional. Okay, so I got to think about this because damage an enemy by three. See, the problem is if he gets down to one, then it's going to destroy one of my one of my characters, and that's bad. Um, Wait, 
You're serious. Okay, now I need to damage an enemy by three. Um, destroy those guys. Yeah, this is not right. This is definitely not right. I've no intention of not so mighty now. Let's see. Me. You pay for this. <laughs> Falverson, slayer of the great beam. <laughs> Sounds rather good, doesn't it? Me, catch! I've no intention of dying today. You fight in vain. This is where you die. Okay, so that's... Um, let's see. Let's see. Damage an enemy by three. I'm going to think through carefully about this. So damage an enemy by three, but that's not going to help with these. Basically, I have to. I, dealing with these guys is a mistake. I have to be either working on him. He can't be manually targeted anyway. All right, well then we got to go after him. Valeria and Rivia for the north. Okay. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. I have to start with him. I've got to start with. I got to start with him. Only a fool. Not so mighty now, are you, me? You pay for this. <laughs> Falverson, slayer of the great beam. <laughs> Sounds rather good, doesn't it? Me, catch. I have no intention of dying today. Oh, you never stink. You fight in vain. This is where you die. Wait, wait. What did I just do? No, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Restart. I did this wrong. Darn it. I realized the minute I was like, wait, that's not right. Okay, so I am going to put him out there. Not so mighty now, are you, me? You pay for this. Falverson, slayer of the great beam. <laughs> Sounds rather good, doesn't it? Me, catch! I have no intention of dying today. You fight in vain. This is okay, where you so, die. Move any card to the other row on its side. So, put him down here. Quick and painful this will be. Okay, so we put that so we can adjust their timers, and we get him started. All right, now, flip over the banquet table. Okay. Her Majesty is exceptional. Okay, that brings up the timer there. That's good. Okay, so they're back now. All right, now, let's see. So I got to do this again. So... So I move the enemies once. Now I have to. I don't want him. Okay, now I want him to be. Now I want damage to be done. So. So 
So now there's no reason to move them. So I can now attack normally. Now the question is, who am I attacking? Nothing personal, I assure you. Um, so we're going to go after... This one. Okay, he's going to go down to one. Which is why I need to move him here. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Flip over the banquet table, which gives me more time again. Okay. So I'm only going to be able to do that once more. Alright, so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Okay, there's that. They're gonna go down to one turn again. This is the last time I'm gonna be able to do this. Discipline shall bring us keeps, I love how he keeps flipping over the banquet table. See, I don't think this is quite... Alright, let me think here. So I put this here. <laughs> Kill him. Wait, you're serious? This is not going to be good enough. Damn it. I'm not going to be... Mmm... All right, let me think. The king leads us to not so mighty now, are you, me? I don't you. Need to skip. Skip. I need that. Me. You. Okay. Um. What's up, Tobik? Hey, do man. All right, so. Maybe I'd actually, you know what, maybe I can move. Alright, so maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. So let's move. Nothing personal, I assure you. Move him down there. Okay. And then deploy. These two, so deploy them on the melee row. We must trust each other. Okay. All right, and then, then I have to deploy. Yeah, that's that's good, Tobik. I appreciate what I assume is a compliment, then. <laughs> um, okay. Alright, range. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Let's move there. Her Majesty is... Exceptional. Okay, so that's up to three now. Um. All right. Problem is, I'm just I just keep adjusting the timers, but I'm not I'm not really doing anything to deal with the. Hmm. Might as well put him here now. I guess I could, I guess I could also be trying to take out 
the, um... Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe what I need to be doing is taking out the assassins first. Yeah, let me try what I was gonna do. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Um... Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Right. That brings them back there. And just when you thought things were about to get dull. Okay. Discipline shall bring us victory. Okay, it's back up to three. Um... Quick and painful this'll be. Move that back there. No, that's not good enough. What the flip, man? I think I need to be going after the assassins. I think the problem here is the assassins. I have no intention of- Not so mighty now, huh? You pay for this! Me! All right, so I've got to deal with those assassins. This one right here is the problem. All right, let's move him. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Move him there. We have one turn. Discipline shall bring us victory. That'll increase their timers, yep. Okay. Brings these guys back. Alright, let's see. And I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Okay. Okay, so that again increases the timers. And then that goes back up to there. Uh, let's see, melee. And just when you thought things were about to get dull. Okay. It's gonna bring it down to one turn, but I have one more. We must trust each other. Increase the timers again. Right, and now. Quick and painful this will be. Okay. Fools! I delivered her okay. to you with a silver platter. Uh, let's see. That's not going to help. Um. I wish that it would pull back this unit and Reynard and the sword, but it does not. So, this might as well deploy Her Majesty here. is exceptional. Okay, let's see. Nothing personal, I assure you. Move in there. You know, I got one turn left. Go there for the banquet knows table. What she's doing. Right. Then we got to move him down here again. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. She's not going to do it again. This one's really hard. Yeah, they have to be on the same row. 
What happens is if he gets also high EA, if he gets deployed, okay, wait a second, let me, blah, 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 you pay for this, blah, 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 blah. I have no intention of dying today. You fight in vain. Okay. This is where you die. Be quiet. Okay. So when you deploy him, you flip over the banquet table and the banquet table, you can only affect, you flip over the banquet table on your row and it's so if you flip it over on your row it affects the opposite row so if you flips it over here it affects this if he flips it over here it affects this so like this is the immediate problem no i don't want to i don't want to know it yet cat pig thank you I'll, I'll try to figure it out first um no don't give me a hint yet um So, I've got to deal with this guy somehow. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank okay. the pouch. Takes care of that. Then this guy goes Company, here. Forward march! Which will affect him, right? Okay, now I need to get him down to a place where I can move him over. <laughs> move him over, right? Wait, you're serious? And then we do this. We must that trust over, each other. And that will increase their timers. Now he goes back. Okay, now he goes here. And just when you thought things were about to we'll get him. Okay, and then this guy has to go here again to increase the timers. Her Majesty is exceptional. Okay. Now he comes back. So now we go here. Quick and painful. This wipe out be. one of the assassins. Fools. This sort of fools thing makes me think that I'm doing that right. Okay, so we've got that. Problem is, it's gonna be the last time I can do this. All right. Anyway, so we do this. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. I'm gonna increase the timers again. See, now they've got to be moved. Nothing personal, I assure you. I have to do that because I have to be able to get him deployed. No, this is not going to work. Discipline shall bring us victory. Crap. No matter how rank the pouch. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna work. There's something I'm not figuring out yet. Only a fool. Not so mighty now, are you me? You pay for this. <laughs> Falverson, slayer of the great. Me! You Move any card to the other row on its side. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Um, let me see. So if I do, I have to do this. Her or I'm just gonna die next turn. Exceptional. Yep. Okay.
Okay, I have to place Rinar. I have to place Gascon next. If I place Gascon here, I'll do three damage to him. If I place Gascon here, I can move this down to this. But then I'm going to lose because I won't be able to... I got to move him onto the same line. And just when you thought things were about to get dull. Okay. I deploy you. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. I wonder if he can flip over the banquet table on any row. That might actually be useful. Quick and painful this'll be. Move him down here. Okay. Discipline shall bring us victory. Okay. Right, now. Okay. Now I gotta think so now I've done all that movement I can do. So now I wanna Nothing melee personal, these guys. I assure you. Okay. You just keep flipping over Company, tables. Forward march! Okay. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. Okay, now he's got to flip this over again. We must trust each other. And again, that increases the timer. They both come back. He comes out here. <laughs> He's Wait, dead there. Serious? I think I got this right. Oh shoot, no wait, I don't. I don't have this right. Maybe I do. No, this isn't right. Ah, uh, this isn't right because he's gonna come back. Oh. Damn it. Um. Her Majesty is exceptional. Now he's gonna pull him back. Damn it. Oh wait, wait. You know what? No, I think I got it right. Because now I. And just when you thought things were about to get dull. Can't, can't target him. Oh wait. It's not gonna matter. I think I got it. Because now watch what happens. I got one turn left, but when I deploy this, I damage it by the power of my lowest ally, which is this guy. To victory! That kills him. That kills him. Gods, have mercy! They, 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 they forced me! No. No, 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 no. We're not doing any more of that forced you. Woof! Meave fought her way out of the trap, and Fulberson, a traitor twice over, Finally yeah. died as he deserved, skewered on a sword in a puddle of blood. Reynard. Sure. Yes, Your Grace. Should I appear ready to forgive again? To let treason go unpunished? The Queen said, wiping her blade on a lace fringed tablecloth. Kindly remind me of Falberson's feast. Meave went on her way as soon as she could, taking with her a hefty load of the oath breaking lord's belongings and some valuable experience. Meave's ornamental sword. Woo! Did it, people. Yeah, well. And watch, next time it'll be the wrong thing. That's a lot of wood, though. Holy cow. That's a lot of stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Reports. Letter to Farbison to Count Johann Farbison from Colonel Flail Abgron. Received a report. I've sent a division of soldiers to your estate to help prepare the trap. If M proves as naive as you suspect and accepts the invitation, kill her during the feast. If she refuses, reveal nothing. Your reward shall be as we agreed, as shall the punishment for insubordination. That jackass. Uh, 
Okay. Workshop time. Armory. Let's do it. It's a lot of wood. Good news, though, is that I've still got more of these left. Need 2,500. Need more wood, but I'm definitely getting there. Man, that was, uh... That was no joke. Okay, so is the ornamental sword... Where's the, where's the ornamental sword? Oh, here we go. Damage an enemy by the power of your lowest ally, then trigger all allies' loyal cooldowns. Look at that picture. Oh, man. Hmm. I'm going to go with that ornamental sword for now. Okay. Lovely. got your thing. Where, what is this, what? What is it telling me, why does it keep telling me that I've got something new in here? I got it. I got the new sword. I got this. What else is this new thing? Why are you showing me an exclamation point? What is the problem? You have the same, is that a bug? Is that what it is? Oh, I see. I see. I see what it is. It's those blue diamonds down there. Yep. There we go. No, it's not a bug. At least I don't think so. That's what it was. Okay. Cool. So, lovely. We took care of this clown prince jerk. Clown prince jerk. Alright. Took care of that. Now we can head off. for more stuff and I still don't have what I need to um, in terms of that one missing map. I still don't have that. But I'll worry about that later. Yeah, Alright, we got a puzzle fight. So we got this over here. So we're almost done with this map. We're very much almost done with this map. Let's see what we got. Yeah, Capig, I hear that. Pestilence. Rotting, unburied bodies invite not only flesh-hungry beasts, but also pestilence. From monstrous scavengers, one can flee or fight back. Yet what defense is there against an invisible enemy, when even air and water pose risk of a slow and painful death? Remove all corpses from the board. Okay. Your command. Oh, okay. Wow. 
Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Um. I'm a monster. Oh my god. Um. This is going to make my head hurt, I have a feeling, if I try to really go through this. not working. Yeah, this is definitely not working. That's a complete... That is, that is as much of a total fail as you're ever going to find. That is a, that is a epic fail to end all epic fails. Wow. We gotta get rid of some corpses, what we have to do. I'm a monster. I think I did it again. Yeah, restart. Okay. Um one bolt I need. See, because I gotta clear enough room to get these guys off the field, basically. And then Okay. Now give me a time. Okay. Um. You just so you just guess this randomly. That is uh. Most impressive. Um. Let's see. Let's see, um...
give me a time. Okay. No. Okay. Abolista, your command. Damn it. Wow. This is, uh... This is interesting. Okay, so I'm thinking what I have to do is I've got to free up Larry space up. on this row. Oh, wait. God damn it. Keep forgetting I have to use her power. All right. Let me try this again. So I have to do this. So this is close. All right. So let's try this again. So, put this here. I'm a monster. Destroy that. Two. Then. Okay. Okay, now this one. Laria! That's up like that. Okay, let's see. I need to make sure that I have each one of these damaged. One bolt. I gotta damage a few of these, is the point. this one. Okay, that's just enough. Um, let's see. Abolista, your command. Okay. God damn it. Ah. Shoot. No, 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 no. Damn. Crap, crap, crap. I was getting close to figuring it out, but man. Right, let's try that again. What's up? Welcome back to Ganju. I have to get, I have to make sure that there's room for these guys. One bolt's all I need. Give me a time. to your command. Okay, and then strengthen those. Please clear out some of these corpses. Uh, 
Um, I'm a monster. Right. Okay, I can't put one there, so I have to put one here. Three, so I have to destroy this one. Destroys that one, destroys that one. Destroys that one. Destroys that one. Good. All right. One bolt. Okay, and then. I think I did that wrong. I think I was supposed to do the far one. Give me a time. Yep, I did that wrong. Shoot, Kepik, how how did you possibly just guess this? Like I'm gradually figuring it out, but how how did you how would you have just guessed? I don't understand. Abolista, your command. I try something different. No, no, no. Why do I keep mm. Yes. Don't forget Meeve's power. No, but I'm saying, I'm not talking about now. I'm not talking about now, Cat Pig. I'm talking about how you did it. I'm talking about how you somehow figured this out first time, just miraculously. That's what I'm asking. I'm a monster. One thing is that I put them on the wrong, is that I should have had her powering the people on the far row. That was the one thing, for sure. So I have to put one down here. Give me a Your command. <sighs> Let's see. Um, I'm a monster. Destroy that, you should destroy that, you should destroy that. Yep. Yep.
Okay. And then... Now I want the ones who are closest to me. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at this garbage that's about to happen. Watch this. Oh. What the freaking heck, man? How you place the second attack. All right, well. I'm a monster. I guess so. In terms of placing the second attack, what do you mean, Cat Pig? No, I mean, I'm sure they are. I'm sure the first two attacks are very important. I'm sure that's true. Give me a time. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I thought I was causing a chain reaction, though. Abolista, your command. Got it. Woo! Oh my god. That was crazy. Plus I got a skull. Alright. 
As long as I got a skull. That was nuts. Wow, these are some... These are some, uh, as someone said, technical challenges, I would say. Alright, where's my skull at? Banish any number of units from your graveyard. What does banish mean? Remove from the game? Wait, do they mean remove from... What, do you mean, does they, do they mean remove permanently or just from the game that you're playing at the moment? Remove from the current game, okay. Problem is though, I don't want to replace... I don't, really, I don't know, I don't love that. Yeah, yeah, we, that's right, we found Mort. Yes. That's what I need is a sarcastic talking skull in my life. Yeah, check out my morale. Morale is not getting the job done here. Okay. What's up here? Report. My queen! The Adurnians retreated with haste, abandoning their tents, supplies, and even some of their equipment. We found something in the commander's quarters. I've no doubt you'll know what to do with it, my lady. Artifact compress. Ooh, I got an artifact. What is my artifact? <laughs> exactly, Galatee. Oh man, my game's done. I banished the entire game. Transform an enemy into jade figurine and move it to your hand? <laughs> wow. What? That's pretty sweet. Um... I'm not going to use it for now, but I can see specialty cases where that would be good. Jade Witch, huh? Check out how bad my morale is. Morale really needs work here. Really needs work. Alright. So I've got these three left as we head in towards the main part of things. Oh, also, you know what else I need? Not that. I need this. I need that survivor's map right there. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. I, I'm pretty sure I never played that one. Played a decent bit of WoW back in the day. Okay, let's just keep going this way. Any shrines? Your Majesty! Report. The town is indeed deserted, but prisoners remain shackled in the dungeons beneath the courthouse. The Adurnians must have forgotten them during their retreat. What should be done with them? We could use them to bolster our forces, though I have an inkling they may not prove the most disciplined of recruits. No, I don't want degenerates in our ranks. Won't let them rot and release them. As Meave passed the city of Harmelin, one of the peasants she'd saved from Nilfgaardian captivity requested an audience. Be taking leave of you here, my lady. Folk from our parts lives in Armelin. We'll manage. But, my lady, we, uh, we thank you for taking pity on us time and again. Bone talisman. We've nothing, my lady, or nears enough. Black-clad bastards took all's worth taking. Except in this amulet. Been in my family for ages. Kept us from harm. May it do the same for you. Meve wanted to say she did not believe in peasant superstitions. But when she took the ivory pendant in hand, she felt a curious warmth from it. The peasant bowed, then joined the others as they trod off towards Harmelin. Hmm. Let's see what that bone talisman does. Mysterious ability lies within. It doesn't say what? They expect me to just equip it, even though... 
So it better be worth it. All right, what's up? We're safe behind these walls. At least for now we are. <laughs> yeah, this place sure looks safe. You've twice shown us mercy, Millie. Millie to lay bless you twice over just the same. This pendant, your majesty. Wear it round your neck, always. It'll keep evil from you. This pendant, your majesty. All right, I get it. Wear it round your neck, always. It'll keep evil from you. The pendant will be with you, always. <laughs> All right. So the only thing I don't have here... I've done everything on this map except for... I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. I have eight chests, so I'm missing two, so that's fine. All right, let's keep moving. The Lyrians stood within five miles of Aldersburg when the road, which until now they had traveled alone, suddenly filled with all manner of folk. Peasants, merchants, and wounded fighters in tattered uniforms. They trod solemnly in the opposite direction, their worldly possessions on their backs. Oldersburg's fallen, my lady, sighed one of the refugees with a forlorn shrug. Outer walls breached. King still defends the old town, but black clad goats are winning. You'd best turn back before it's too late. We've nowhere to turn to, good man, the queen said, then spurred on her horse. Follow me! The queen galloped so fast, the wind squeezed tears from her eyes. The Lyrian cavalry close at her heels. Hoofbeats thundered down the high road, and the crowd of refugees parted, making a path for the charging riders. Faster! Faster! Soon they set eye on Aldersburg. A red glow filled the horizon. The wind carried screams and the clanking of steel. The once proud city was quickly turning to dust in the Nilfgaardian sun. The Nilfgaardian force moved to block the Lyrian's way. Without slowing, Meave cut down the infantryman who tried to drag her from her saddle with a hook. Her head in a winged helmet fell to the ground, leaving a bloody track. Lyrians! Attack! Meave shouted. Take no prisoners! Fear no darkness! Aldersburg outskirts. The invading forces ignored the Lyrians at first. After all, the Nilfgaardians are better equipped, better trained, and most importantly, held a considerable numerical advantage. However, their supremacy quickly began to vanish. Black-clad soldiers fell one after the other to the blows from Meave's infantry. The Nilfgaardian commander, watching in disbelief, trumpeted for reinforcements. Better trumpet for reinforcements. So this is a standard battle. I'm going to see what happens with this bone talisman. Do not need knickers, because knickers will show up when I ask for them. Right, that's a good combination. Useful, actually. I like that. Bloody hell. You shan't stop me. Not now. <laughs> exactly like you. Okay, let's see. Seems appropriate. All 
right? Let's see. I gotta get rid of these guys. Ah, damn it. Oh, so freaking annoying. Yeah, no, actually, it, it generally is a reasonably chill game. It's just this particular unit really irritates me. I'm not a fan of this unit at all. Because I think it's just a cheap, like, I don't know. It's a cheap unit. Gotta kill this guy. I also completely screwed this up because I needed to. I need to kill that guy. Like that guy's got to die. That guy's absolutely got to die. This could hurt. This is just going to get worse. I completely screwed this up. I'm just going to do this because I want to see what this does. What just happened? He's working for me? Is that what that is? I don't understand what just happened. Is he on my side now? I don't think I know what just happened there. Yeah, well, that's. This is a little bit different. Um, this is a matter of a particular card that I played that I was trying to figure out what it actually did. Let's see. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Well, maybe I did, sort of, actually. I take that back. Okay, I've got to deal with you. It's not going to be enough to kill you. Um, I have got to... Okay, now I play the hand. Um. 
Discipline shall bring us victory! Okay. Bigger they are, easier they are to tug. Okay. Now... Thing about slings, they hide well. Good, bastard. All right, forty-four to four. Yeah, this is really because because the story is so like part and parcel of what's going on here in this mix. So. Suffering for what? Okay, please do not kill her off, please. God, oh, oh, I hate. Oh. Not happy, not pleased. No, they don't hurt. Still gonna beat your ass down. All right. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Hey. Okay. That is my boy Ike with Divine Inspiration. He is probably my favorite yeah, unit. Every time they take damage, he gets more powerful, whether he's in my hand or outside of it. It is the best. The best. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Wasn't pie enough because you confiscated part of the surgery. He's so good, though, man. Oh my god, is he good. Actually, that's probably not worth it, is it? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. God's blasted. 126 to 67. Come on, then, Discipline. That's what you folk lack. Your grace. That, Got him. All that was but their rear guard. That's all right. I'll take the rear guard. We want one fight at a time. The Lyrians managed to scatter the Nilfgaardian battalion, one of many besieging Aldersburg. Their scouts brought before the Queen a prisoner freed from the invaders. Neve inquired about the situation in the city. Turn the right slaughterhouse in us. The Imperials, they... King at the city cleared my lady, but didn't put himself. Holding out with his guard in old town, walls still standing there. Said he'd fight to the end. Come with me. Neve weighed her options. The situation looked dire. Demavend, to whom she had come for help, needed help himself. Nilfgaard enjoyed an overwhelming advantage. The small Lyrian detachment stood no chance of breaking the siege. But to retreat, surrender, that was not something yeah. Neve did. The Nilfgaardians do not expect a relief force. Hmm. Rayla, you know Aldersburg. Can you lead us by side streets to the Old Town, that we may avoid the largest part of the Nilfgaardian army? The warrior nodded, and without waiting for any further orders, strode out in front of the party. Reynard followed her with his gaze, clearly troubled. And... and what then, Your Majesty? 
We burst into the lion's den and... And we pray the lion chokes. Follow me. <laughs> we, it's basically like, get to the big army. Profit, basically, right? The wards okay. crushed and breached. The lower town in flames. Hundreds, thousands wounded. Thousands more fled. King Demavend will fight to the end. He'll save the city or die with it. Oh, I forgot to give you this magic sword. Turn back. Turn back while you've the strength to run, while you have your life. Aldersburg falls! Aldersburg is lost! Sounds a little like trending. Walls, crushed and breached. The lower town. Okay. So. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Your mother was a hamster, and her father smelled up elderberries. Yeah! Oh yeah. Run away! Run away! You're approaching an important moment in your journey. If you can- Oh! There's one left! Now go ahead! I shall taunt you a second time! Okay. So... I need some help with this one, guys. Since I'm only missing one chest. Can someone give me a hand with this one? I need to find this chest, and I have no idea where it is. This is the only thing I have left to do on this entire freaking map. I'll show you the map again. There's the map. And last time when I was trying to look into this, I... This... What people were telling me to do was completely different. I mean, it was not... There was a disconnect somewhere. So... I will gladly take hints or suggestions about where to find this. It's the only chest I haven't done. Alright, thanks, Kepik. I, I was looking... I mean, I looked at some things, but, like, I didn't find... I mean, those look like... Like, those look like columns of some kind. like some kind of columns and uh, actually wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute it might be right there where am I right now I am absolutely nowhere close to there all right let's let's get back let's try to get back there I'm gonna fast travel Where's my fast travel at? Oh, I could have fast traveled there. Okay, well, never mind. Let me just go through this and fast travel. Okay. Where was that thing I just found? I just found columns. Right down here. So let's go... Okay. Down to the southeast. It's way the hell back there. See, this looks like it. I just need to find the right one. I'm almost positive this has got to be it somewhere. I, 
I think, well, I mean, you can ask some of the people who have been watching me, uh, Fun Time Scree, but I just spent quite a bit of time on a couple of very tactical, um, puzzle-based Gwent battles, basically. Um, it's, you know, I'm sure that Gwent players would say that it's not Gwent per se, but as someone who really enjoys not only the story that this is telling, but the actual thoughtful gameplay, whether or not it's specific to whatever Gwent existed before, um, this is completely different than, I shouldn't say completely, it's very different than Gwent, but it's got a heavy amount of sort of thoughtful cal sort of calculation. Yeah, what Cat Pig said. Um, okay. Now, where's the thing that I need? Okay. There's a column and there's a tree. Might be right there. Yeah, it's somewhere here. I thought. Yeah, I think you'll find it enjoyable, fun time. I mean, I'm not saying that it's um again, I don't want you to get the idea that oh, it's exactly like um it's exactly like Gwent. It's not. But I think it's very very sort of it makes you think about card interactions quite a bit and I love the fact that it's that tied into stories. You saw it before I walked in the southwest direction. It's but it's got to be here though. It's here someplace. It's got to be somewhere in this group, though, because of the columns. Has to be. It's just a matter of which column. Northwest for about two or three screens. Like, up this way? Like here, you mean? Yeah, right there. There we go. Yep. Yay! Okay, we got everything. Woo! Thank you, Capig. Yeah, I mean, I, I was headed that. I knew it was somewhere with the columns, at least. So, okay, we now have literally everything. So that's good. I like these fast travel sort of setups. Okay. Here we go. Well, I mean, I wouldn't normally do it, but if I'm only if I've got eight out of nine here, eleven quests complete, eight puzzles completed, seven standard battles, one nine out of nine. So. Feeling good about my Lord's my army mercy. too. And demons take it all. A lot of good graphical work on this too. Taking advantage of the confusion, Meave maneuvered her troops to the very walls of the old town. Spying Lyrian banners, the defenders suspected a trap. But when they noticed Black Railer among them, they immediately lowered the drawbridge. The old town was a maze of brothels and shady taverns. In normal times, Good place to defend. students and other pleasure seekers prowled its dark alleys. Now, tired soldiers slumped in every corner, though the Lyrians' arrival clearly buoyed their spirits. The fraternal realm's warriors clasped each other's hands and swapped tales. Even Eden's king, Demoven, made no secret of his pleasure at seeing these unexpected arrivals. Me! Of all the besieged cities in all the world, you walk into mine. Come to the rescue, have you? Um, I was kind of hoping for your help. To be quite frank, I've come to be rescued. Oh, yes. I've heard much of the events in Lyria. Disgraceful. Such betrayal. However, as you might have noticed, things are none too rosy here, either. Yes. That is hard to miss. I thought we'd trade blows with the black clads. That it would be an even match. Two weeks. That sufficed to annihilate the army I'd spent my whole lifetime building. Your Majesty, I cannot say what fate will bring if we shall reach this war's end alive. But I wish to say now that I admire you. Oh? You evacuated the city. Yet refuse to evacuate yourself. You fight to the bitter end, like a hero. But of course, a king must lead by example after all. Especially in war. Reynard, 
That rumbling, you hear it? Studded boots on cobblestones. The Nilf Guardians. Prepare the men for battle. Yes, Your Grace. So, now that we're alone, what's really going on? What? Did you not hear? I'm defending my capital, like a hero. Oh boy. Like a man bent on suicide, rather. Demovend, I hate to retreat as much as the next ruler, but sometimes you must pull back to strike another day. Uh, if we must be fully honest, there is another reason I've not left the city. I can't move. <laughs> See that building? That one there. The brothel? The crimson bodice? Oh boy. I have my son. I have Precisely. some people there. So, I promise not to laugh. I'm a patron. A loyal one, in fact. One of the girls there, Demaretta. Uh, she's marvelous. Makes me feel young again. A young fool, you mean? Demaven, there's a war on, and. Allow me to finish. Demaretta became, well, with child. Exactly nine months ago. Understand now? She's entered confinement, having contractions. Since yesterday. You see, I cannot leave her like this. Can't have her moved. I must stay put until she gives birth. And then what? Pray tell. Invite all of Nilfgaard to the christening? No, then you just toss the baby over the walls. No, my dear. There is a hidden tunnel deep beneath the city, leading far beyond its walls. Once the midwives cut the cord, we flee. I understand. For one's child, one would do anything. Odd, isn't it? Amusing, even. Midst of a war, my kingdom burning all around. And I'm happy. In that case, I can only hope your offspring, unlike mine, will continue to. Your Majesties, the Nilf Guardians are attacking. <laughs> Meave, we must hold out. A few hours, that's all. I'll do what I can. Is there gonna be a ba is there gonna be a baby card on this on this board? Is there gonna be a baby card? If there's gonna be a baby card, the defense of the old town. Midwives advise that women in the throes of childbirth be surrounded with a sense of calm and security. Demaretta was afforded no such luxury. As she opened her eyes between contractions, she witnessed the flaming missiles of Nilfgaardian war machines streak across the sky and lifeless soldiers slide from the fort's walls. Faster, she whispered to her forthcoming infant son. Faster, my angel. How does she know it's on? All right, eliminate enough Nausicaa Brigade to give Demaven time to escape. Yeah, exactly. A baby card. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I see what, you, I see what you're doing there, Aaron. I see what you're laying down. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Alright, that's good. I still don't know exactly what this thing does. Um. No. 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 Did this say this was a regular battle? I missed this. Actually, wait a second, you know what? Before I ask. Is it two rounds, did someone say? Is this a two-round battle? Does anyone know? I completely missed that. <sighs> yeah, but I fought one before that wasn't. That's why I was a little worried. the Nausicaa Brigade. Let's see. Hmm. All right. 
right, let's see. Can't be moved. That can be moved, though. Uh, let's see. Battlefield by up to 15, boost the lowest amount. Problem is that's this lower. Okay, I see I, what I was thinking about was doing this, which would have damaged that. The problem is that will damage it, yes, but then this, this guy would be boosted by that much, which is the opposite of what I want to have happening, so I can't do that. So, so if I move him out here, that's going to allow me to move this, this, and this around. The white of an eye from our It's normal? Yeah, great. Lovely. Not in Yarde Crowfair. Okay, now skin brigade. So now, let me see. These guys are still too low. This could hurt. Set that on fire, please. Could have also destroyed. Mm. It was destroyed, which means it should have been. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Neve, they're getting close. Devils take all. Help me. Miniarv, my son. And of course, Mrs. Arv, my lovely wife. Well, yes, but I was focusing on the mini Arv. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, 47. Did he pass already? I just turned I just turned away, of course. Did he pass already or not? Anyone anyone anyone? He didn't pass? Okay. I was wondering why it was giving me the option to pass. I was a little confused about that. Okay. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Okay. Barbarians. Now he passed. Neve! We must hold on a bit longer. Now this guy passed.
Mini orb distract us in a good way. Alright, so the thing is, I want to save some of these. I want to save the- I want to save all of these three, because these three are going to help in my second round. But... So now I'm going to pass, because I got it down to five turns. Okay, round one down. Oh, my boy. My boy Ike. All right. I like that. All right, let's see. Um, so... Level him up, all right. So, let's see. What can I do? You know what I can do? Oh, so then, no other way. Because I need to get that guy, I need to get her down because of the order anyway. go with thing about slings they hide well okay that moves them around also yeah 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 no i know super useful getting to work Watch your heads! <laughs> this row is on fire! Alright, um, let's see. And... Now the question is, can I avoid her dying? That would be lovely. I'd hoped we could solve this some other way. God! Leave her alone! Okay, first of all, boo yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Okay. That was good. Now, next thing. I'm doing this for a reason. Okay, now we move. Got the lead, but I still gotta get rid of this guy. And he passed. Alright, well... Shall bring us victory. Okay. So can't take it anymore. Okay, let's 
do that. That's okay, I'm not worried about that. I don't like these guys, but... The chase is on! Uh, let's see. I want that guy dead. He's still passed. Oh, crap. No! The chase! <laughs> Get out of here! Now retreat to the tunnel! Woo! Got him! With Got him. forces combined, the rulers managed to hold the old town long enough for Demoretta to bear the king's offspring. Saved your kid. A healthy, hardy boy. When the midwife slapped the infant, his scream carried above the roar of battle. Soon afterwards, the defenders abandoned the walls and left the city through a secret tunnel. The Nilfgaardians, furious that not one, but two northern sovereigns were among the escapees, raised Aldersburg to the ground. Well, we, we were, were going to do that anyway. If not for you, the devils would have devoured us. I should say it was nothing. But the truth is, I need your aid. Aid? But you see, my army is no more. I must pull back, regroup. Pull back? Where to? The golden sun flies over your entire realm. To Redania, to take shelter at the court there. And then? Will you sit and watch the fool juggle apples as Nilfgaard parcels all Eden out to its settlers? Meave, one must know when to fold and when to double down. Nilfgaard has stretched the front. Winter will soon be here. Let the costs claw away at them. A year, two, then we strike. And we shall prove the Empire is a colossus with feet of clay. No, screw that, dude. You're a coward, Demavend. A common coward. Perhaps so. But mind, courage alone wins no wars. Soldiers do. The Nilfgaard simply has many more. I can't live like that. So what shall you do instead? Fight on. Until I win. Or the black-clad curs tear me apart. Gods. Such pity I have for your husband. The poor man must have had a rough go of it. He seemed content with his life while it lasted. Yet I'm serious, Demavend, in my request. You truly won't aid me. Provide nothing at all. <laughs> I'll give you a royal decree. <laughs> I will tell my men whoever so wishes can join your party and fight on. But please, curb your excitement. They are tired. Few will choose the path of greater resistance. But, but, but... Are you familiar with the saying, when at wit's end, a dwarf's your friend? Yes, it and many others. Yet as much as I appreciate folk wisdom, I prefer facts to philosophy at the moment. Preferably facts relevant to my situation. How about this? Mahakam is but a week's ride from here. And there you'll find thousands of dwarves armed to the teeth. Enough to turn the tides of this war, I venture. Yes, they could. If not for another fact, that the dwarves have always been famously indifferent to strife between humans, they'll never come to my aid. <laughs> I doubt they'll even let me into their land. Unless you show them this. The leaden ring. A token of amity given to me by the Elder-in-Chief. Hmm. That's not to say they'll welcome you with open arms. But they will hear you out. And that is something. Okay. Hmm. Dwarven infantry I'd make good use of. I forget when this is set, Bloomlight, actually. I should do actually. as you say. Or at least try. Good. And to ease your journey somewhat, I'll give you as your guide the best man, or rather woman, for the task. Rela! Yes, your grace? You've been to Mahakam with me many times. You know their paths. 
Take Queen Meave and her party there. If it be your wish, my king, I shall obey. I'll send messengers ahead that the dwarfs may expect your arrival. Until then, good luck, Meave. And may we one day waltz upon the grave of our foe, Emperor Emir. May it be so. Just as long as I get to lead. <laughs> ah, of course. Farewell, Queen. Meave left Aldersburg in ill spirits. Rather than provide the help she had hoped for, Demavend had merely sent her on to Mahakar. Her way west was lit first by the glow of a burning city, then by the smoldering remains of charred villages by the roadside. It was clear the war against Nilfgaard had taken a bitter turn. Each stranger was now treated as an enemy, and the customarily hospitable Adernians slammed their doors at anyone's approach. The party's morale was somber as well, and did not even improve with the first sight of mountains looming in the distance. Wandering among the ashes, Meave entered the dwarves' domain. All right, people. It's time for the dwarves. Achievement unlocked. Among the ashes, complete the main storyline for Erdern. Along perilously steep paths, Black Rayler led the queen and company towards Mahaka. A dwarven homeland. There, among snow-capped peaks, someone awaited. Rayla, you brought strangers. Gabor, I present to you Meave, Queen of Lyria and Rivia. Ah, a queen, Crivens. Well then. We... A large shadow swept across the sky. Oh, crap. The dwarf swallowed the rest of his greeting as all raised their gazes to see a dragon soar swiftly toward Mount Cub. What's up, Alduin? Kelkalus, didn't be afeard. He isn't a threat to us. The dwarf had broken the silence gently, he himself quite familiar with this altogether unusual sight. And now, sit yourselves down before the pottage grows cold. The pottage? I, oh, but... Flew. Drake? <laughs> Reinhard. Stone shriveling marvel, innit? Makes you almost sad the lizards are dying out. Should you not worry more about the fate of your brethren? That creature will soon have all Mahakam aflame. Ha! Keltalus? No! He's lived here centuries. Harmless for the most part. Now, your grace. A taste? No, none. Though your offer of repast I value, good sir. Oh, oh, no need of that. Gabor, please. Enchanted to make your acquaintance. Gabor here's a true local notable from one of Mahakam's leading clans, the Zigrins. But then he wouldn't be our guide if he wasn't. A guide for all important guests. A pleasure. And as I said, I thank you for your hospitality, but I've no time to feast now. I must speak to your ruler at once. Hmm. Don't I mean no offence, but Elder in Chief Bruverhoog's a recluse of sorts. A recluse? Go, didn't even meet the ones that wear crowns. But I suppose I could, meaning if you drafted a letter. Her Majesty's got Demaven's signet, given willingly. Ah. Well, that's a sheep of a different sort. We didn't let many human folk into Mahakam, and for good reason. So those who we let come through the second gate get blindfolded. Just after they've surrendered their arms at the first. But you've the leaden ring. Given one of your kind to confirm trust and amity. So, we're certain we can treat you as one of our own. Elder and chiefs in the past visiting. Look into his flock. Come on. No reason you two shouldn't jabber right quick. Though the Lyrian infantry rose half an ell taller than the dwarf, he moved with remarkable ease through the waist-high snow, while those behind him slipped and stumbled on the ice-slick rocks. Neve and Rayla trailed the party, so they might speak in private. Gabor Sigrin. All right, I love these. These animations are so good. Let's see. Yeah, I'm grateful. Rayla, your aid proved an unexpected bounty. 
I received orders. I fulfill them to their end. My, I see. And what will you do now? Our paths diverge, not more. I return home now, where new orders surely await. Demovent has fled to the Redanian court, where he shall cower and not show his mug until spring has sprung. You know this. Would you not prefer to remain in my ranks? Fight the Black Ones bound at the hip? No, Your Grace. Why not? You have no love for me, do you? We are not of the same stock, Your Grace, so it's hardly my place to... Stock and place be ploughed. We must speak from our hearts. Two women. No enmity. Tell me why. I did something, something you could not abide. Yeah, you like the elves too much, my lady. It, your lack of bigotry and racism was the thing that I couldn't stand. Come on, man. It was what you did not do, rather. What did I say? In Edurn, you are far too lenient on those elves. Called it! As you are ever prepared to forgive, extend clemency. What would you have me do? Let you cleanse, rid the wood of all non-humans? Wickedness demands wickedness. Blood calls for blood. All that leads to is more blood. Very well, Rayla. Then go and drink of it if you must. Lips pursed, eyes locked, Meave and Rayla took each other's measure a last time. The warrior then bowed in a manner some might think excessively courtly, turned on her heel, and rode off down a slope. See ya. Meave gazed after her until she disappeared behind a snowbank, then gave her mount a solid dose of her heels and rode on, irked as a hare in a briar patch. I mean, I hate to lose her, but whatever. Like, I'm not going to be a bigot so I can make Grace, it happen. I have a message for your eyes only. Oh, the Grey Rider. Report Makam. Situation of Makam. Stable, unchanged for centuries. No evidence of internal opposition, open or covert. Power in Mahakam held by Elder and Chief Bruver Hoog, ruling on behalf of clans. Warning, Hoog, extremely difficult negotiation partner, tiresome to get him to sit down to talks, deathly worrying to convince him to make even minor compromises, only values good of Mahakam and its inhabitants, appeals to anything else, lead nowhere. <coughs> During present war, Mahakam maintains strict neutrality, trades with both Nilfgaard and Northern Realms. Okay. Your Majesty, as promised, I am reporting to you on the situation in Lyria and Rivia. Your son is king in name only. True power is held by Count Caldwell and General Epdahi. From what I hear, both lust for soul control, thus conflict between them is inevitable. Soon Nilfgaard will start expelling peasants from the best lands of Lyria and Rivia and importing their own settlers to replace them. Willem tries to delay the process, but General Epdahi will not relent. Our prayers for your success, my lady, Captain Tobias. Your Highness, thank you once more for the mercy you showed our city. By leaving the stolen treasures in Gatberg, you saved us from the horrors the invaders are perpetrating elsewhere in Adern. We are in your debt. I know in times of war, deeds count more than words, so I've included a pouch with this letter, and in it, gold gathered from our townsmen. I have no doubt you'll make good use of it. Vlad and Vasco, Mayor of Gatberg. Okay. Well, we got a lot of stuff going on. Alright, let's deal with the command tent first. Need to put another card in here. Gabor left hook. Deploy. Damage a unit by 10. If it was destroyed, deal any remaining damage to another unit. Nice. Or play one trinket from your deck. Nice. Why'd you pick a dwarf over a human, you traitor? Yeah, exactly. I was not crazy about Black Rayla from the beginning, but she was a pa I mean, she was a good ally, though, so... Alright. Hey! Units will take a 25% less their crew cap. Huzzah! Increases the gold of units by 25%. Each unit gains one arm at the start of a battle. Marian Landsneck, Rivian Sapper. 
Maybe it's to trade gold for wood or recruits as well as wood for gold. Nice little hom marketplace. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Catpig, yeah. I mean, I hate to lose her in terms of her sta abilities, but she's not... I'm not down with her as a character, quite honestly. I mean, I don't know, I'm, she's a good character, but I mean, I'm not... Like, that's not the way that I'm playing my character in this game. So, if I were min-maxing, I'd be more worried about it, I guess. All right, we got stuff from everybody. Let's talk to, um, let's talk to Isbel first. Uh. Isbel? Apologies. Thoughts consume me sometimes. Is there something you need? Since we left Edurn, you've seemed unsettled. Is all in order? I've seen many wars in my time. All ugly, all repulsive. But what the Imperials did at Aldersburg was... It was unforgivable. Uh -huh. Nilfgaard. That's what it does, Isbel. They seek here to repeat the rape of Sintra, the slaughter there. Yes, I saw that. I was there. And at Sodden. Then you know of what they're capable. After Sodden, I took an oath never to take part in another war. Such suffering. Such hatred. Senseless. All those deaths. Senseless deaths. Our troops sacrificed their lives in defense of their homeland, loved ones. I believe, I must believe there's a better way. Forgive me, Mum. I must gather my thoughts. Never mind about me, though. I shall perform my duties to my utmost as ever. As always. What do you discuss with my soldiers? You speak with my soldiers a good deal. Said so yourself. I'd like to know what about. You teach them not to fight. No! Hmm. Corporal Larkin, ma'am. Do you know him? Captain Oisin, perhaps? Or Lieutenant Teagan? Of course I know them. Among my best, they've served me loyally for years. You know them? But did you know that in fleeing Lyria, the corporal left behind a newborn daughter? His wife was in confinement when you gave the order to march. The corporal could not go to see them. And true, the captain has no wife, no child. But he's not seen his brother in five years. Never once been granted leave. Your General Odo's orders always taking precedence. Yeah, but what's the alternative? To allow Nilfgaard to sweep over the entire land? Allow me to guess. You shall now tell me Tegan abandoned his sick mother to follow me. No, ma'am. Count Caldwell's men murdered the Lieutenant's kin. Retaliation for his joining your rebellion. He learned of this just recently. Enough. You've made your point. Yet even were I to order them to return, they wouldn't listen. They know they've got nothing to go home to while Nilfgaard occupies our land. Duty calls. I must go. Of course. Should you need me, I'll be here. See you, Isabel. All right, let's talk to... How are you doing, Xavier? Yes, my lady. Why did you stay you with us? You choose not to follow your king, Xavier. Why? To fight in the field with you. This was my wish, my lady. But what of your home? Rosberg must be rebuilt. Engineers are needed. I have no kin in Rosberg. No soul left for me there. All I've left is revenge. I understand. Other matters await my attention. We shall speak later. As you wish, my lady. Hmm. All right. What's going on with you, Renard? Yes, Your Grace. How are you and Gascon getting along? How go things, Reynard? You and Gascon get along now, I hope. After that little fight in the uh, party? Well, you might say we've established a certain rapport, Your Grace. Tell me more, friend. I don't pry into his affairs, nor he into mine. I'd prefer it if my commanders worked together more closely. Your Grace, the man's a brigand. Oh, Reynard, he was a brigand. I must disagree, I fear. Yes, he stopped thieving for now, but only because it's convenient, so to speak. Gascon isn't a changed man. He still hasn't an ounce of honor, dignity, 
Yet he has a unit of armed men, without which we'd be much worse off. Might not even have survived. Yup. Agreed. The strays are excellent fighters. I'd be the first to admit it. I only fear they might turn on us. Leap at our throats when we least expect it. Well, they certainly will if you treat them like suspicious beggars, Renard. It's time I attended to other matters. What about you, Giscon? I assume you feel just as well, huh? Hey ho! How's my favorite queen in the north? How are you getting along with Renard? You and Reynard. Do you get along? Like a cat and a hound. <laughs> get it? Because they call me. Yes, yes, your jests are easily understood. <laughs> Far more difficult to enjoy. That's probably true, in your royal high and mightiness's case. Will you answer my question? <sighs> we get along because we must. Though it'd be far easier if he pulled the lance from his ass. Haven't heard a truer word in a long while. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Nothing. It's time I attended to other matters. Farewell. All right, and Yergis, last but certainly not least, Gabor. I need to speak with your quartermaster. Hey, excuse my elvish, but I can't drink that goat's piss he serves in the mess. <laughs> uh, Reynard's doing no doubt. He doesn't like the men to drink too much. To be blunt, ma'am, what Reynard himself needs is to get good and bluttered for once in his stiff life. <laughs> so, I have a proposal for you. A shipment of the best dwarven mead and lager. I can arrange for you to arrive. Trust me. The men's morales may like to be a problem when they pour a bit of fire in their guts. All right. Hmm. Good point. Very well. I would normally not do that because I don't like the whole drunkenness thing, but the army as a whole would probably enjoy it. Oh, Glad I had enough money left. My thanks, dear queen. A few more days of that, and I'd have been lapping up puddle water. I trust you'll arrange the details. Uh, of course. No worries. You didn't ken how happy a dwarf you've made me. And morale. Ah, right. And the men, too, of course. Tell me more about the Zygrin clan. You're a Zygrin, are you not? I know the name. One of your clan slew the dragon Ockvist. Aye. You're thinking of Yarpen. Cousin of my cousin. Left my hackam when I was but a wee snot. Decent enough dwarf, but never could conform to our basic tenets and laws. Though, admittedly, we've so damn many, it's hard to keep them from leaking out your ears. Is it that bad? Hmm. I'll put it this way. Among human folk, you can't steal, brawl, murder. All the basics. In Mahakam, we've got laws about how to braid our beards. But I'm no one to complain. The Zilgrins are well-to-do, one of the richer clans. Got more than enough goods to suit our needs. Though, we've got some bads as well. What do you mean? Bah! Nay worth your time. I didn't mean to bother you. Sides, best to jabber of such things over a cold pint. Or keg? <laughs> or a cold keg. What can you tell me about the Elder in Chief? Your Elder. I'd like to know more. Do tell me about him, please. Hmm. Uh, one tough horse Ruva. Stubborn as an old goat, as you'll soon see for yourself. All in all, though, he's near as scary as some say. Been keeping the clans in check for some two centuries now. Which is near a small feat, I might add, no. No conflicts between them all this time. Are you certain? Ha! <laughs> ha! I, I can't tell if you're jesting. <laughs> At each other's throats each day they are. Breckenrigs despise the Chivis. Dalbergs and scratch out the Hoog's eyes given half the chance. As for us, we hate them arse-licking fooksies. <laughs> but Bruver's got his ways, keeps each yen in line. If not for him, Mahakam would have fallen to bits ages past. What do you mean? Why? Round 150 years ago, when the elves were fighting that hopeless war against your folk, the Elder-in-Chief ordered the pass to Mahakam sealed tight. If it weren't for that, we'd have ended up like the pointy ears. As it was, we waited for the shite storm to abate. Didn't they open the pass and stretch your legs again till it was safe? Yes, I remember. The manufacturers in Rivia have yet to recover. With all due respect, Your Grace, your workshops forge utter crap. <laughs> it's near your fault that human folk prefer dwarven goods. Basic market principles, that's all it is. I feel enlightened, Gabor. 
Thank you. Farewell. We shall return to this conversation later. Much, no skin off my much back. later. We see each other, your grace. All right. Hadn't stopped by there for a while. Okay. So, wow, 22 gold. It's going to be a while. Next is going to be, though, is going to be um, probably this. So 2,500 gold, I'm thinking, is what I'm going to need. Okay, now I should... Whoops. Man 10. I should be able to now... A lot more units. I still have this cost. Yeah, the problem is not really so much the units, actually. <laughs> That's a good one. What's up, Garrett? These are all at zero. Hmm. Trying to decide if I'm trying to decide if I want to move this guy who has boost uh, boost seven by se boost self by seven. If I want him to come in to replace the strays cavalry, because I find myself usually removing those. I think I may do that. All right, so I'm going to need a lot of gold. Let's take a look at this map, shall we? I don't even have enough to look at the... Wow, look at that. That's pretty slick. I don't even have enough for scouts. I'm going to have to get some more gold before I even get the stuff for scouts. A hearty Mahakam welcome to you. What an honor. Even the arbalists salute us with cocked quarrels. Oh, that well. An ounce of prevention saves a slag heap of trouble. Mm-hmm. Not joking around. None too shabby as views go, eh? Wow. Mmm. Were it not for the howling wind, I'd make a sketch. <laughs> okay. New markers are added. I like how I still have only got, with this, over 300, like 307 troops, and that's it. All right. Oh my goodness, look at all this. It is a full map, people. That is a full map of stuff that we're looking at. And by the way, for those of you who stopped in late, hello everyone. My name is Arvin Elleron. I will, uh, this is Pen and Pixels, episode 157. We focus on story and narrative in games, and I will be with you uh, for about another 20 minutes or so. And then I will be giving way to Blackheart, who will be engaged in Rogue Legacy. Um, and you can check him out uh, for a while as well as we continue to move forward with Thronebreaker. Um, I hope you folks are enjoying this. I, I've been enjoying this game a lot, so I'm hoping that people are having fun with it. Welp. Got a troll, we got a dwarf. Mead rode slowly, her surroundings interesting to her, her ears keen to take in the cacophony of sounds, the sharp whistle of wind rushing past towering peaks, the squeak of wagon wheels rolling over frozen snow, and the roar of beasts. What the... I dare not venture a guess. Hmm. 
Gabor scratched his chin. An ice troll. Or one of them Barbie guys are majabbers. These beasts, are they know. tame? As the dragon? <laughs> Not in your life. Fierce horses, every last one of them. Spring cleaning year past, one year bit my arm clear off. The Queen's brow rose in a silent inquiry. All right. You don't quite ken the context. Each spring, with the melting of the snows, a good bit of that filth comes out the ground. That's when Bruver Hoog summons all dwarves for spring cleaning. We cut down as much of the filth as we can, and that means relative calm the rest of the year. Out of the corner of her eye, Meave noted a dark shape darting between rock formations. Calmly, she drew her sword and brandished it a time or two to warm up her stiff arms. Seems Spring it is our cleaning. Lot to assist you with this cleaning. Lyrians, arms at the ready. Prepare to fight. All right. Spring cleaning. For a great many years, Mahakam was closed off to the outside world. When the Elven Kings began their last desperate push to drive men from the lowlands, the dwarves slammed shut the passage to their mountainous realms. For centuries they waited. Only when the slaughter in the valleys below subsided did they once again open their gates. The dwarves refer to this day as the Great Aaron Out. Do not let Bruver die, eliminate the Shelmar. Hint in one fell swoop. Okay, it's just one shot to get rid of all of them. Okay. A lot of direct damage, guys. I don't have any order to regain these things either. Do I have any order? No, it really doesn't help me if I don't have any orders, okay. Every Stop three turns. Around like corns, on a toe. Get to work. <laughs> corns on a toe. Every three turns on turn start, randomly damage enemies by a portion of Shelmar's current armor. Then move to the other row. If on the melee row, damage the highest enemy by this unit's current armor. If on the range row, damage the lowest enemy by this unit's current armor. Okay. I'm trying to do eliminate the Shelmar. Hoover Hogue, okay. So defeat this guy. Um, let's see. That's a good start. I'd say that's a good opening turn. Uh oh. Mistake was made. Sorry. 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 I apologize. My bad. All right. You got some splaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that was not a difficult fight. <laughs> I was just like As the wails of speared Shalemars died down, the crowd of Mahakaman infantry parted. A dwarf stepped forth, grey as a snow fox, wrinkled as a prune. He walked with difficulty, supporting himself on a battle axe, its two heads dripping blood. This would be our elder in chief, Bruver Hoog. What's up, Bruver Hoog? And who might your guests be, Gabor? Your salvation, my lord. Meave, Queen of Lyria and Rivia, and her associates in court. My regards, Elder. I come... You come for something. Coins my first wager. Fighting bodies my second. Well, what is it you want? I'm on in the years, I, but I'm not going dotty. Tja, you menfolk. Got to fall on hard times to remember us dwarves. Hmm. I've come with a design in mind, I cannot deny. But hear me out and you shall see. She's armed! Gabor! Why the devil did you let her in here like that? 
Land without a sack or a heat. She has the leaden ring, Elder. A gift from a king. From Demavand, lassie, I ken that already. Trust a man, give him something of value, and he'll go and give it away as easy as a street whore gives away nubs. It's a good thing he didn't pawn it. <laughs> Sons of humans. I've traveled far to see you. Hear me out, I beg you. Yeah, let it be my loss. Go on, heave her away. Nilfgaard has overrun my realms. It has overrun Edurn. The Blackclads are at the foot of Mahakam. They will seek to overrun your land sooner or later as well. We must act. We must react together, while there is still time. Time? What do you care of time, lass? Got how many summers to you? Forty, maybe? Had you grown up amongst dwarven folk, at your age you'd be learning to crochet dolls. No more than that. I've seen four hundred summers come and go. And I've been elder for two hundred. And you know what I've learned in that time? That meddling in your idiot scraps doesn't ever bring any good. Now, on a normal day, I'd have you all thrown clear out of this land I love. But you've the leaden ring, and that grants you the right to hospitality. And here, in Mahakam, laws and rights are sacred. You may stay in the pass as long as you wish. Young Zigrin will serve as your guide. And once you've tired of the mountains, well, you can the way down into the valleys. I bid you farewell. My lord Elder, with all due respect, we came to your aid. We smote the beasts with you, yet... And who the demons is this son? Count Reynard Odo. Ho oh, ho, Odo, Lodo, Bodo! <laughs> now, you listen and listen well. We didn't ask for aid, and you know why? Because I've my dignity. Not like some. Well, this is going well. Mates and wenches! Spring cleaning's done! Beast Cullen's over! Mount Carbon beckons us home! Follow me! Your Grace, be not dismayed. We will find a way. Manage we shall, true. Though damned if I know how. We have none other to whom we can turn, no other land where we can flee. Let us convene in council, Your Grace. Consider together what's to be done. We've yet Redania, Temeria. Your Grace, might I draw you aside a wee moment for a jabber? Reynard, please excuse me. Well, what is it you want? I wanted to tell you you're a stupid git. I ken the Elder-in-Chief didna make a good first impression. Oh. <laughs> and the second? Is it any better? Hmm. To be quite frank, no. <laughs> I'll try elsewise. Not all's lost, trust me. Prover's a stubborn goat, no doubt about it. But a goat to be persuaded. And I happen to ken how. I like this guy. Very well, I'm all ears. What must we do to spur Bruverhoog to aid us? Hmm. I might start with the thorn in our side that are beasts. A bigger thorn than most expect. See, in our never-ending search for gold, we dug deep, too deep, <laughs> and reached abysses where monsters are born, or really however too deep. they come to be. Soon as it turns a bit warmer, they crawl out to feed. And there's more every year. What you saw there, the spring cleaning, that's just light yearly upkeep. It didn't go at the source of the blight. Every spring we cull enough so we can live and trade and mine normal like. But there are corridors in the upper valleys midst the peaks where more lie waiting to pounce. So many, there's settlements that have done been abandoned. I still fail to see how this relates to myself and Bruva. Your Majesty, slay the beasts down to the last, and you'll win the hearts of the clans. All of them. And with the clans behind you, why? The Elder will have no choice. He'll bend an ear, treat you serious. You've got two sites for which beasts swarm in great numbers. There's Daver's Abyss and an abandoned underground settlement called Burr's Rump. Destroy those. Collapse the corridors, 
Problem solved. Mm. All sounds very neat. Why hasn't Prover attended the matter? Hmm. You color the solution as simple and known. Why has Bruver Hoog not gone at the matter? Ha! <laughs> you must learn one thing about us dwarves of Mahakum. Customs, traditions, why, we're obsessed. Goes thrice for Bruver. The Elder deliberates weeks on end. And that's in considering if we shouldn't wear suspenders, because they might be through its side, and should thus be forbidden. We've a set of laws, the Four Dwarves Codex. One of its tenets says, Dare you not close a corridor once oped? So, no self-respecting dwarf can nor will do it. But you... you I, I'm not a self-respecting dwarf. The laws didn't apply. You have a free hand in sealing the corridors from which the beasts come. Collapse them. Flood them, I didn't ken. But solve the grief once and for all. Well, th I would think they'd be angry, wouldn't they? Like, why are you, you know... And this, t'would suffice. I believe it would. Uh, but, but, but find your other ways to win the heart of a clan or Bruver itself. Do so. Can he bring no harm? Hmm. All this sounds rather toilsome, yet... I do favor this to losing another moon seeking out a court where we would at first be welcomed, only later to hear another rebuke. You've my gratitude, Gabor. You've shown me a way. Very well. Let us think on these beasts. I want See what's you to be done. To show me the way every day. All right. So we got about another oh, five minutes or so. Maybe maybe seven or eight um, before I give way to Blackheart and Rogue Legacy. I like revealing as much of the map as I can early on to give me a sense of all the different gold and stuff like that. It's more expensive. Of, ah, there's that guy. I know this guy. Who's that black heart? What's up, man? Hope all's well, sir. How far are you in Rogue Legacy, Blackheart? You've been playing that for a few sessions now, right? And by far, I mean... Like, how I know it's a roguelike, but like you've advanced. I've come to the conclusion somewhat, your right? elder in chief is not fond of guests. Fond? That's near the quarter of it. He hates. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to skip. Darn it. I was just trying to pick up some goods, man. Dragon's eye. Oh, really? I thought. Oh, you know what? I guess that's true. I kept seeing it, but then I was. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I guess that's true. <laughs> but I was thinking about the fact, because I usually, when I was setting the next, you know, I saw you playing that, and I'm like, all right, well, that's, that's what we got going on. Man, look at all the stuff. All areas revealed, yes. What's up, Rosef? Quiet, wench. Are you scared of fish off? Crevens, Trout was already nipping at the bait. And you came along and frightened it off. Duval shice! Duval shice! Duval shice! I don't know what Duval shice is, but... Nice. How many bosses are there in Rogue uh, Legacy? My queen, there are bodies of dwarven miners trapped beneath the ice sheet, likely swallowed by the river. It's too late for them now, but their equipment is recoverable. Though bear in mind, should any fall in, they'd freeze to death in the blink of an eye. I could use that. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Have our men recover the gear. Four area bosses and a final boss? Okay. Well, neat. Guest rulebook. Dear guests, to make your stay in Markham a merry one that doesn't end with you rolling down a cliff in a barrel, do us all a favor and stick to these rules written by me, Elder and Chief Brover Hogue. One, don't go sticking your nose in others affairs. Two, you fondle it, you buy it. Three, don't question our laws. Four, get out as quick as you can. Five, don't bother me. Your boy, Brover Hogue. 
No, I think this is set... I want to say this is set between 2 and 3, although I never remember exactly. Maybe someone who knows could actually mention it, but I don't think it's after Witcher 3, if I'm not mistaken. doing here uh, we're gonna be heading up there that's down there so I really need to be heading this way first okay good excellent I think this game is excellent yeah I mean I've I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, I think it's really good. Dwarves are demanding a pretty sum, but their steel's worthy of any crown. No offense, meant, but Rivian blades don't hold a candle to their Mahakaman cousins. Their elders just a tad eccentric. No offense, meant, but Rivian blades don't hold a oh, candle no, my pleasure. to their Mahakaman cousins. Okay. Now I'm wondering if I do this. Nah, I'm worried that if I go sort of head down this way, that I'm going to end up starting a whole sequence of things. And we already completed a map. So when we play this next, which will be in two weeks, we'll take care of this. We'll go around here. Then we'll come up here, go around down here, and then back over. We'll work our way left. And then up here, that'll be a main quest point there. Then we go right all the way over here, go over there, pick up all of these, go down here, go over here, pick these up. Go over into here, 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 go over this way, come up here and here, go up here, here, and here, and this, this, and this, and that obviously is going to be our final end goal, so. Is it that? Is that what it is, Paranoia? It's before all the games? Okay, I didn't know that. I wonder why you take so long with the <laughs> AGDQ. Man, you know, the thing about Divinity 2 is, I know, I know you're joking, but I really wish that, um, I really wish that the problem is timing. That game was awesome, and I was playing that, and then Pathfinder Kingmaker came out, and I started playing that, and then this came out, and this is awesome. It's actually more, my goal is to finish this, go back to Pathfinder Kingmaker, and then eventually go back to Divinity Original Sin 2. But honestly, if I play Pathfinder Kingmaker, and I end up not liking the kingdom mechanic, which is quite possible, I could see myself abandoning it and going back to Divinity Original Sin 2. This game I want to finish, because I'm really, I'm really enjoying it a lot. But then I'm going to go back to Pathfinder Kingmaker and we'll kind of play it by ear. But no, not another 30 minutes, um, because we have about a minute to go before I need to be giving... Um, uh, before I need to be giving Mr. Blackheart some time for Rogue Legacy. Um, and so I'm going to be heading off, I think, to be able to do that. So, for those of you who missed this, I do want to mention, yes, for those of you who missed this, I do want to mention uh, that um, that I am going to be, next week, I'm going to be back here, um, let me rephrase, another 30 minutes, sorry my friend, um, but I'm going to be back here next week with D&D &D with GOG, Storm King's Thunder. Um, today, uh, we are going to be done, but uh, I am going to be back here. I'm going to be back streaming on Thursday on my channel. If anyone is interested, I'm going to be doing a special Adventures in Middle-Earth session, a solo session with one of the characters that had to go off for a reason. I'm going to be doing a session with them to kind of gradually bring them back to the party. So that's going to be happening um, at uh, 10 a.m. on Thursday. Then on Friday, I will be uh, here as normal around, I'll be not here, but over on my channel at 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, playing a run-through or playing my mini-marathon of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. And then Saturday, we will have some Esper Genesis, the uh, sponsored space opera that I do. And then um, Sunday, nothing. Monday, uh, nothing. And then Tuesday, I will be uh, back to my channel. I will be playing Adventures of Middle-Earth again. And then I'll be over here um, at my normal time at 4 p.m., for D and D with GOG Storm King's Thunder, Bard's Tale is definitely going to happen later in the month. I will be doing more Bard's Tale, but not for a little while now, Dragon, because I've now got some other things to do, including 
tabletop sessions and things like that. But trust me, Bard's Tale is definitely in the loop, so um, you can look out for it because it's definitely going to be happening. But that's going to do it for me for tonight, folks. I had a great time, and I hope you folks did as well. Um, really enjoying this game, as I said, and I recommend it highly if you like um, games that are strategic, a little bit of, you know, fair bit of card playing, but things which are really tied into the story. They really did a good job with it, so I hope you were enjoying it as much as I am. But that's going to do it for me for tonight. Please stick around for Blackheart, um, who is going to be playing Rogue Legacy in about five minutes from now. As for me, I will see all of you wonderful people um, on my channel on Thursday morning, and if not, then I will see you back here on uh, next Tuesday at 4 p.m. for episode 158 of Pen and Pixels. Until then, thanks everyone. Uh, much love, and I will see all of you wonderful people very soon. Stick around for Blackheart, and I will see you for some more Thronebreaker also, by the way, in two weeks. But next week, next week, D&D with GG. Thanks, everyone have a good night, and I will see you all soon. Searching though I don't know